Hello world, lock picking dev here. Today I'm at Lime Kiln Trail. I brought myself a pack lock 150. It's a six pins, good security pins in them. Let's see if we can get this open real quick. These pack locks are fun to pick. This trail is pretty cool. I can show you some of the rock afterwards. It's an old uh, lime mining area. There's an actual kiln for melting it down and everywhere here too as well. We've got pin one and two. There's pin three. Going in the back. Try not to overlift. Yeah, I don't think that's ready to set. Five feels set. There's three, two. One feels like it's ready, there we go. One, in the back here. Five feels set, six feels like it needs to go up more. I can't quite reach it, so I'm gonna switch picks here. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera there, making it shaky a little bit. One around here. There we go, six. I had to let a little tension off of that one. Two. Another click out of one, and one is now stuck up there, so we overset it. There we go. One. Three. Check the back again. Three again. One is definitely good. Two feels good. Three feels good. On the back here. Six, there we go. Six must be up there. There's our open. Didn't lose our tension wrench, yay. Nice pop. When I get home, we will gut it. This is our pack lock 150. Let me pick you up and show you around real quick. And just for those that don't want to stick around for the gutting, there's the bedding. Yep, six pin way up there. So is our one. Really high as well. That can be a real pain in the butt with the top of the keyway tension. Let me show you around here. It's got some nice little rapids here. Nice typical Seattle day. Not the brightest out, but still beautiful. Too bad we weren't here a little sooner. There were some kayakers that went down through here. And let me show you a little bit of the rocks around here. So you can 
there will be a lot of white streaks on the rocks around here. It's from all the quartz going through. Here, check this out. So you can see on these rocks over here. Oh, that's my dog. She don't like it too far away from me. That's pretty cool. You can see this rock right here. Like all this stone right here. It's pretty green. Yeah, I'll show you. Get you a little closer. Jazzy, stay. Sorry about that. My dog's literally trying to get out of her harness right now to get to me. Yeah, check this out. Really nice coloration on these rocks. Yeah, this is Lime Kiln Trail. And I will be home soon to gut the Pack Lock 150. All right, now that I'm back home, let's get this gutted. Sometimes it's, it can be crappy carrying these back in my backpack. Not because of the weight, but sometimes the lock can reset themselves. Luckily, most of the time they don't. I've learned to put them in a specific spot so they don't jostle around a whole bunch. Let's see. Come on now. There we go. See clip off. There's gonna be different. Oop, there we go. Okay, cool. Still good. The core out. There's one, two, three, four, five six and for their driver pins one two three four and a bunch of springs whoops i'm not used to these tweezers yet <laughs> The reversed ones. I just ordered them. Try them out. Where we got all those? Okay, there's our security pin we lost. Four, five, fell right into place, and there is six. All right, here we go. Let's see spool, serrated spool, serrated spool, and a regular driver. I believe a regular driver looks like a longer driver compared to the rest. Anyways, our key pins are all regular key pins, no traces there. And here is our bidding. The bidding was all right, just a high last pin there, really, but in good uh, pack lock fashion, full security pins. And this was the pack lock model 150. And that was the Lime Kiln Trail. Alright, thanks for watching.